Hello everyone. Today let me show you what makes this Acura TLX Type S a Type so S. Of course we have to start out under the hood. So this TLX Type S is powered by a 3 liter V6 fed by a twin scroll turbo that peaks out at 15 PSI. This produces 355 horsepower and 354 pound-feet of torque. All of this is paired with a 10th speed automatic transmission and has a very terrible fuel economy of 19 in the city, 25 on the highway, and 21 combined. That's what EPA says, but what I say is that we got 7 miles per gallon just sitting here for my review. So, fuel economy, no, that's a no-no. Also, you will have some more functionality on the front grille. You have an open surface finish for this exploding diamond design with um, open diamonds that I can stick my finger through. Also, you will have this aerodynamic piece on the front part and type S badging around back. You have tinted lights and a type S badge with quad exhaust and a rear diffuser and a spoiler right there. In the cargo area, this is one of the stranger parts of the area to find a Type S exclusive part. You have chassis bracing right behind the second row seats. You have one on the side, there are some on the seats. And also what makes this Type S a Type S are these Brembo bricks. They're 14.3 inches and they will do a great job stopping this car. Also, on this model, we have the performance wheels and the summer tires. So this is uh, a different Type S model, and these have a white spoke design, and they wear they weigh about 24 pounds light lighter than the normal Type S. Should I say that correctly? The double wishbone front suspension and multi-link rear have been upgraded for this Type S model. And the 10-speed automatic transmission has also been upgraded to handle the extra horse. Also, you have door sills and these red seats with carbon fiber inserts and a Type S badge. Also, you will have a perforated steering wheel with a flat bottom and Type S branding with red gauge clusters. Well, that's what makes a Type S a Type S. So tell me what you think in the comment section below.